Alhamdulillah. Estás bien. Buen día, buen día. Se ve que ya es orilla. ¿Qué es la que le dé esta sección de polla ahí? Son tres ocho, cinco ocho, seis seis. Gracias, señora. Sí, está bien, gracias. Pasa buena. A ver, chao. If you're wondering what hill I was walking up the first night I was here in Cali, Colombia, this is that hill right here. This is why I was so out of breath. That first night, look how steep this damn hill is right here. I'm doing my way to the gym right now. I'm about to get a quick workout in. This is gym not too far from the apartment that I'm staying at. It's like a 10 minute walk. It's from, it's actually not too, it's not too far from this good restaurant that I was eating at these past few days. I'm gonna go over there and get a workout in. I actually have a membership at SmartFit, but SmartFit over here from where I'm staying, it's a little bit ways away and I don't feel like walking over there. So this is the, it's the best option right here to choose from. Place is pretty straight. It's a little smaller than what I'm used to. But it only costs 10,000 pesos to work out over there. So we're gonna rock with it. Maybe do a full body exercise. I'm gonna show you how I stay in shape while staying overseas. I don't know why I'm walking up this hill right now. I could've just banged that left out of that grocery store and kept it moving. But yeah, man, I was actually Whew, hold on one second, god damn. Damn. That shit got me tired. Okay, so post workout walk around the neighborhood. Currently, I am over here by uh, El Centro, downtown area. It's not too far from the apartment I'm renting. It's also not too far from the, the downtown historic center. Boulevard El Rio, not too far from there either. Just came from the workout, just came from the gym. Had a nice meal over at a restaurant that was across the street from there. Got me a beef steak with uh, white rice. 
Yum, yum. steak, white rice, uh, potato, papa, and lemonade. That meal cost me 8,000 pesos. And it was so damn good, I bought two of them. So I ended up spending 17,000 pesos for two meals. And um, I can't complain about that right there. It cost 8,000 pesos to actually dine in and 9,000 pesos to carry something to go. Pretty busy over here. This reminds me of uh, Parque Enderquillo. Parque Enderquillo. Damn, there's a lot going on over here. Jesus Christ. Parque Enderquillo and the DR, and then of course, Plaza Botero or Parque Berrio and Medellin. Buenas. So it's pretty simple. It's like any other downtown area. Uh, a developed country. A lot of outdoor markets. When I looked on the map, I saw that there's a lot of clothing stores over here. If you want to get yourself a jersey. Souvenirs. Some shoes. Damn spatula. Groceries, flowers. You got it. Oh, produce. If you want it, they got it. If you need it, they got it. Shoes, clothing stores all over the goddamn place. Damn, this place is crazy. Crazy busy over here. And I actually wasn't planning on coming out here to record anything over here. But I had my phone, I had my camera with me. I said I might as well just do it. Bang it out. I don't know how deep I want to walk into this. I'm try to bang this right over here. So the gym. Jim, Jim wasn't too bad. Like I said before, it's 10,000 pesos. It's right down the street from the apartment I'm renting. Um, it's pretty small, pretty small. They don't, they have an upstairs and a downstairs area. The downstairs area has all of the the leg equipment for you to get leg presses, your squats, your leg extensions, hamstrings. Then it has a couple of nice stuff. Has a couple of uh, upper body, upper body uh, equipment. Like it has a lat pull down machine. Also has a pull up machine, pull up bar, dips, dip machine, um, seated, seated rows. But it's small though, it's real tight in there. As you can see, I have the, have the footage, footage of it to give you a, a good idea of what it looks like. Pretty small. And um, I'll tell you one thing, they got a lot of cute, fine ass motherfucking women up in there. God damn. I counted at least like, when I, I counted at least like four or five of them. Up. And this is at, this is at five o'clock? Nah, this is at eight o'clock in the morning. Eight o'clock in the morning. 8 o'clock in the morning. It was like, God damn. My man is on the sidewalk with his bike. Sidewalk with his bike. What are you doing? What are you doing? I'm talking about doing the most. When all those fails, you want to get somewhere fast, pull your bike up on the sidewalk, man. Pull your motor up on the sidewalk. I was just, I was just extra. Extra for no damn reason. But anyways, yeah, man. Cute-ass girls up in that gym. From what I read online, I saw some reviews. I saw some reviews online, and it, uh, it says that the best time to go is early in the morning. With that being said, between the hours of opening up until I don't know I forgot what time they open I think they open at like 6 or 7 from that time up until like 1 you're pretty much good it's not too much foot traffic but then you know once people get off get off work just like any other gym in the world like anywhere else in the world it's going to be pretty busy 
Damn. Walk through here. Shit. Come on, Papa. Oh, yeah. This is all in the cut. Oh, they got the Louis. Got the Louis. Got that. Fake Louis. They got it for the Lodo. Saying they got it for the Lodo. <laughs> Yeah, man, I had to change my damn t-shirt, man. I had on a white tee. Man, that shit was a different color when I got out of that damn gym. This is a big-ass open market, man. I think this is actually bigger than Parque Barrios. Parque Barrios is pretty big, but this is over here. This is a different animal. It's at least. At least. I saw at least, like, five. Five different streets that intersect with one another that has has like a bunch of stores like these indoors and outdoors oh God, I'm gonna go joint I thought I saw I thought I saw a, a park over here I just glanced at the glanced at the map real quick cross over here Matter of fact, I think that park is actually a couple of feet ahead of me. If I'm not mistaken, if I go straight, that will probably take me into the Boulevard del Rio. But I'll probably let me go this way. Walk around the entire entire area. Then out. Tell you one thing, watch your step. Watch your step. The few times where I'm on, I'm almost I almost fell into one of these damn sinkholes. Occasionally you'll walk around certain neighborhoods and there'll be like a large open space in the middle of the sidewalk. Gracias, yeah. Papa. Oh, there's a church over here to my left. Let me, uh, I gotta go inside. Now, let me, I'll just keep inside real quick. No, gracias, Papa. It's a church. It's a nice looking church. Matter of fact, let me cut through here. I'm gonna cut through here. Another thing that I've seen a lot of out here, in particular in San Antonio, is there's a lot of a lot of apartments for rent and for sale. You'll see, say, Aquila, uh, say, Vende. You'll see a lot of those signs in that neighborhood with the WhatsApp. I don't know if I would want to purchase property, but I am considering it maybe a few, a few years down the line. I would want to have something in DR and maybe something in Colombia as well, but I'm not sure what neighborhood course maybe Sabaneta but after visiting 
here and staying in San Antonio for the few days that I have, I like it over here a little, a little bit more than Medellin. It's a little bit more, a little bit more chill, <coughs> at least in in um, in uh, San Antonio. I haven't really. I haven't really got an opportunity to check out much of any of the uh, different neighborhoods here in uh, Cali, but San Antonio, San Antonio without question, is um, a hidden gem. But here look, another church over here, goddamn. It is humid out here. That's one thing it is out here, though. It is humid and it is hot. I think the average temperature is like 25 degrees Celsius, which converts into 77 degrees Fahrenheit. And that's just on average. At night, it gets as low as, it's as low as like, I don't know, like 65, 66. I don't remember exactly how low, but it was, it was it was cool enough to not have on the AC. I'll say that. It's cool. Oof, man. Damn, I walked around this motherfucker for 15 goddamn minutes straight. I think this is yeah, this is a government building right here. I'm not gonna film that. Government building. Yes, I could, uh, I don't know, I'll walk over here, further over here, walk down the street, bang the left, and see what they got popping. Out of all these damn places out here, I don't see one motherfucking spot where I could buy me some juice. Typically, you come out here, there's places that you just, they selling juice all over the place. I'm sure they got some cake over there. Cake as in post today, not cake as in booty cheeks. going down. It's going down. Is it, my man doing a willy? Okay. Crazy ass. Interesting place, I will say the least. I must say, interesting place. One thing I haven't seen much of is those kiosks with the with the juices that be selling the juices. I haven't seen any. Catnip or some some damn insect repellent. If you're wondering what I'm wearing, black t-shirt, gray pants, black shoes. If you wanna blend in? That's the uh, prerequisite for clothing attire. Nothing too fancy. It's regular, humble, nobody will recognize you. And a lot of people may ask if you can wear shorts. You can wear shorts, but I think that it's not common to see people wearing shorts. 
but occasionally you will see men out here wearing shorts and the way the style in which that you wear the shorts will determine how often you stand out or not or how much you stand out from what i've seen you won't see too many guys wearing nike brand shorts like this guy in front of me actually having some nike brand shorts which is actually hilarious but you won't see too many guys wearing shorts like those out here typically when i wear shorts i wear like a dark gray dark gray all black with not too much not too many like uh like labels on it like i'm not gonna wear a pair of nike shorts with a big ass nike on them that's typically showing locals that you know what i'm saying you're not from out here because typically you won't see that but i mean like the guy that i just saw behind like behind me right now he has some nike shorts on which is crazy but you won't typically see that out here more so jean shorts jean shorts are pretty common also like beach shorts <laughs> you'll see you'll see cats wearing a lot of beach shorts out here And where you wear the shorts will uh, determine how often, how much you stand out, how much you stand out as well. Like in Medellin, you won't see too many people wear shorts. I've seen a few cats wear shorts out there. I've, you know, I've walked around wearing shorts in Medellin as well. I won't nobody, you know, bat an eye at me. Primarily in Poblado, not too much, but in Sabaneta, you get on that train, you'll see cats wearing shorts all the goddamn time. So you know, it's not um. It's not uncommon to wear shorts. Yeah, I'm getting deeper and deeper into this shit as I go along. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna uh, cross the street over here. guys off with a lullaby. Los Angeles. <laughs> the name of this damn store, Los Angeles. They got it for the load of. They got 70,000 pesos of shoes over here. Cross. Oh, damn. Damn, this shit is crazy. I find it peculiar how these streets aren't blocked off and they have vehicles driving in and out of them. They got people walking in and out of the streets like it ain't nothing. Some interesting stuff, man. Came up on a mall over here. Grand Comercio, Grand Central Comercial. Where the hell am I? I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to 
stop this damn video pretty soon and figure out where the hell I'm at so I could figure out my next move. I'm just off the beaten path right now. I ain't gonna even lie to you. Got the pools for the low. I, I guess I'll figure. I'll drop it right here. This is a. Uh, this is enough. Enough for one goddamn day. So um, you already know the slogan. I'll highlight y'all on the next one. Already.